I've been running the Scramble Bike Project now for the past four years and every year we've tried to make it bigger, take more schools in, uh, into it and um, the reason why we're here tonight is for the last um, ten months last year I've uh, been into schools doing certain workshops about the dangers of Scramble Bikes. We did a reenactment which is the first time for the force um, at Scorrington Avenue where it involved a, a Scrambler bike and a car um, simulating a crash and the fire service came in, cut the roofs off, ex extracted the casualties out of the vehicle. Okay, see so some of you got some dance skills, okay? <laughs> some of you got some acting skills, and that's brilliant, okay? And I hope you've learned something from um, from what these, uh, from, from the police force, what they've told you. It shows um, that they support our, what we're doing in the community. Rachel Brown Finnis, who's ex-England international goalkeeper, she was very keen to come on board as well, so that's the first time um, we got in touch with her, and straight away she was on board. So tonight we've seen 16, young people here from four schools in Sefton who've worked with our local police officers, worked with the council, worked with partners but they have given us some really important messages but also given themselves something to think about in the future. You know hopefully it's stopped all of them ever thinking about getting on a bike in the future. It's also taught their siblings, their schools as well as the consequences for Alan and Molly and the team to have got a really great partnership going with the schools and with the local communities. Um, that takes a real lot of commitment, shows their passion, it's keeping our people safe, keeping our children safe on the roads, because ultimately that's what we're about, isn't it? 